Ukrainian troops fighting the war against Russia are coming to the U.S. now for training on this Patriot missile defense system. It's the one they asked for, and now they'll get the training to use it properly. This will happen at Fort Sill in Oklahoma, where U.S. troops undergo their own training on the Patriot system. It is the most advanced ground-based air defense system in the U.S., and it was also included in that military package signed by President Biden. Uh, joining me now to talk more about this and everything else going on in Ukraine, national security and political Political analyst Paul Rykoff. Paul's also the host of the Independent Americans podcast, which you can check out wherever you get your podcast. Paul, good to see you this morning. Um, training Ukrainian soldiers on U.S. soil, significant step, also a risky one. Thanks, Mike. I don't think it's that risky. I mean, this is pretty basic. We train allies across the world on U.S. bases all the time. Uh, I trained at, at places like Fort Stewart and Fort Benning, and they were international soldiers alongside of us throughout this. Uh, it's, it's safer to train them here than to train them in Poland or, or somewhere else. And it makes it easier from a logistical standpoint for the U.S. We can just plug them in alongside our soldiers that are already undergoing training at Fort Sill. So I think it's significant that we're finally putting the, bat the Patriot batteries into play. Uh, this will save civilian lives. It'll help secure the airspace. It's, in my view, kind of a basic thing we could have done much earlier. But at the end of the day, getting Patriot uh, to Ukraine will help save uh, Ukrainian lives, civilian lives in particular. It'll protect them from overhead attacks. It'll, it'll increase their air defense assets. And I think it's a pretty basic move that'll make a significant difference. How soon before this training is put into action? They can accelerate it uh, and hopefully they can be on the ground within six months. I think the, the larger issue is that Ukraine's in this really tough situation right now where they're kind of playing a game of mother may I with the president and with Congress. You know, can we have Javelin missiles. Then, can we have high Mars? Now, it's can we have Patriots? The next step is going to be can we have tanks? Can we have F 16s? In my view, uh, the US and, and Biden and Congress need to take the gloves off. I mean, the Ukrainians are being slaughtered. They're facing genocide. Women are being raped. You know, schools are being targeted. And we need to take the gloves off and give the Ukrainians what they need, not just to defend themselves, but to win, to drive Russia out of their land and move toward victory, which is ultimately what they want uh, in 2023. Right. And the Russians want more supplies and weaponry as well, which brings me to my next question about Victor Booth, that arms dealer that the United States traded for Brittany Griner, the WNBA player. Uh, he's back on Russian soil. Apparently, he's getting pretty involved in the situation in the invasion of Ukraine. A DEA Special Operations Division agent uh, said, quote, the merchant of death, which is what Victor Booth is referred to, is back in action, has more hatred against Americans and with a greater motivation to fuel conflicts and support Russia in his outrageous and disastrous war with Ukraine. How many ties might he still have that he can supply the Russians as a global arms dealer with the arms necessary to combat some of the, the supplies that the U.S. is offering? I don't know. Uh, and, and I know that there are plenty of Ukrainians who would love to see him on the battlefield to be able to take a shot at him. Uh, to include American veterans who have enlisted to serve with the Ukrainian military. I think the bigger issue uh, is, is Iran. Iran is providing drones, they're providing uh, missiles, they're providing weapons, they're providing artillery. I mean, they're, they're, they're a nation state, you know, uh, and, and in my view, an adversary of the U.S. Uh, that, that's using Russia as a proxy uh, to engage with Ukraine and engage with NATO and engage with American allies. If we want to really get to the source, we've got to deal with Iran, we've got to deal with China that has much more capacity than any one individual arms dealer. How worried are you about this Wagner group? So they're supplying convicts to fight on Russia's behalf. The head of that group, also known as Putin's chef, uh, according to reports, claims to have taken control of the small town of Solodar. Ukraine has not confirmed that that has happened. Um, what do you make of this group uh, willing to put everything on the line, nothing to lose, and then focusing as the next target, Bakhmut? Well, there are hired guns. They're mercenaries. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's concerning because they have a reputation for ruthless and unethical tactics. Uh, they're not going to abide by the Geneva Convention, although the, the Russian military hasn't done that either. They're raping and plundering and targeting civilian assets. I think it's a sign that, uh, that, that Putin's got to pay people. Uh, you know, he can't count on some degree of patriotism inside of Russia. It seems like support inside Russia for this ongoing uh, fight in Ukraine is waning. Uh, Russians are sick of seeing their, their sons and daughters come home dead. And he's going to have to lean on people like Wagner because they can pull in international mercenaries from around the world to try to backfill uh, against the Russian waves. And the Russians continue to really show a disregard for human life on, on any level. 
Putin doesn't care. He's going to send wave after wave of Russians. And that's why uh, we need to continue to, to have our back strong and to provide Ukraine with especially artillery. Artillery is going to be necessary. This is going to be long and drawn out. It's not going to be over anytime soon. And I think as we go into a new year, we need to brace for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.